Go. Okay, this is a homework problem that we've had several questions on, and we're asked to solve a uh, fifth degree polynomial, 2x to the fifth plus 12x to the fourth plus 16x cubed minus 12x squared minus 18x equal to zero. And so some of the students want to learn how to solve this without using a graphing calculator because this could be graphed and you could find all the zeros just by looking at the graph. But how could you do this without a calculator? The first thing, rule number one, is to find the greatest common factor, and it looks like we can factor an x out of this polynomial. So we factor out an x, we're gonna have two x to the fourth plus 12 x cubed plus 16 x squared, and then minus 12 x, and then minus 18, and that equals to zero. So right away we know that x equals zero is going to be one of our zeros, one of our roots. And now we have a fourth degree polynomial with a constant, and so we have coefficients of two, 12, 16, negative 12, and negative 18. And you know, I should have factored out a two, but that's okay, we can still factor out a two here out of this. So the greatest common factor was actually two x. So if I factor out a two from the rest of this, I'm gonna have x to the fourth plus six x cubed plus eight x squared minus six x minus nine, and that's equal to zero. And so now we have a fourth degree polynomial and we have x to the fourth, six x cubed, plus eight x squared, minus six x minus nine. So if we're looking at solving this, uh, there's really no way that we can factor this. We have not covered enough techniques to factor fourth degree polynomial with five terms. So then the next thing is to look at possible rational roots, uh, p over q, factors of nine over factors of one, and factors of nine would be plus or minus one, or three, or nine. Now, if you look at the sum of the coefficients, one plus six plus eight, that's 15. If I add one plus six plus eight, that's 15. And if I add a negative six and a negative nine, that's a negative 15. That means that x equals to one. So right away, I know that x equals to one works, so I will use x equals to one and use synthetic division with that to reduce my fourth degree polynomial. So uh, I bring the first term down, I bring the one down, and I multiply one times one, I get one, six plus one is seven, one times seven is seven, and I add those together, eight plus seven is 15, 1 times 15 is 15, negative 6 plus 15 is 9, 1 times 9 is 9, and I get 0, which means that x equals to 1 is one of our roots. So we have x equals 0, and we have x equals to 1. And so now I have 1, 7, 15, and 9. We could try x minus 1, right? x equals to minus 1, and then we bring the first one down, Negative one times one is a negative one. Seven minus one is six. Negative one times six, negative six. We have nine. Negative one times nine is a negative nine. And zero, that means x equals negative one works. So we have our third root here. And now we have x squared plus six x plus nine equal to zero. That's a perfect square trinomial. That's x plus three times x plus three. <coughs> And so that means that we get x equals to negative three is a double root, or we say multiplicity of two. So we have two roots here, and x equals negative three, x equals negative one, x equals one, and x equals zero. That gives us five total, and uh, that was the solution for that. Now, I wanna remind students that if you like this type of video, if it helps you on your homework, you need to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We have more videos coming for you. And that's going to be it. Booyah.